return and give praise to God, but this for enough. And Jesus said to him, Get up and go your way. Your faith has saved you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Children, how many of you have understood whatever I have read? Please uh, raise your hands up. How many of you understood? Now I am going to ask you. Okay, Simon, come forward. That the one man had prayed and had came to worship Jesus, mm. but, but the other nine did not come to worship him. Okay. One day Jesus was walking on the border of a river. Then he saw ten people. They asked Jesus, Lord, please show some pity on us. Then Jesus said, Get up and go on your way. They went. And all the ten members got healed. But only one member thought, Jesus healed us and I need to praise him. He went to Jesus and he insulted himself in front of Jesus and said, Lord, thank you. And Jesus thought all the nine members went on their way, but you are the only one who praised me. And Jesus said, you can carry on your way. Good. So, always it gives us peace of mind. Now today, we should be thankful to God because God has given us this opportunity to come together and pray together and be happy here. Next person to be thankful is our, our, how many of you are going to your parents and telling thank you Papa, thank you Mama. Merciful God, hear our prayer. For parents and families who entrust their children to our care, may they be blessed with trust in our abilities as educators and with the strength to support their children's educational journey. Let our response be, Merciful God, hear our prayer. Merciful God, hear our prayer. For the administrators and support staff who work tirelessly behind the scenes to ensure the smooth functioning of our school. May they be blessed with wisdom, discernment, and the ability to lead with integrity and compassion. Let our response be, Merciful God, hear our prayer. Merciful God, hear our prayer. For the protection of our school, may they be kept safe from harm, both physically and spiritually. May our classrooms and hallways be filled with an atmosphere of peace, joy and love, where each person feels valued and supported. Let our response be, Merciful God, hear our prayer. Merciful God, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we place all our hopes, dreams and intentions for this new school into your loving hands. Grant us grace to grow in your knowledge. Generous, gracious God, bird of life, we offer you, Lord, these books. Make our children to get good knowledge as they use these books. Lord, we offer you these books. Bestow your showers on our children. Fill with our lasting knowledge and brightness their lives.
and school and teachers. And school and teachers. Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. We ask you. We ask you to bless our parents. To bless our parents. Send your Holy Spirit upon us. Send your Holy Spirit upon us. So that. So that. We may be able to study well. We may be able to study well. And be happy all the time. And together close your eyes and say in silence in your, silently in your heart thank God for giving me Almighty God bless you the Father Son and the Holy Spirit Amen. Amen. now I'm going to sprinkle holy water on you as a sign of blessing close your eyes సకల సృష్టికర్త మా సర్వేశ్వర మీకు గౌరవ మహిమలు కలుగునగా మరో వాకరణల ద్వారా మేము స్థుతించుటకు మేము ఇచ్చుట చేర్చుతది మా బాల బాలికల విద్య కొరకు మేము నిర్మించిన ఈ పాఠశాలను ఆశీర్వదించండి విద్యార్థులను ఉపాధ్యాయులను తల్లిదండ్రులను ఉద్యోగులను మా సమాజంలో ఉత్తమ విద్య తోడు వారందరినీ మీ యొక్క ఆశీస్సులతో నింపండి మా బాల బాలికలను ప్రాయమందును తెలివితేటల ఎందును పుణ్యమందును మీ సమక్షములను అభివృద్ధి చెందుతున్నగా ఈ పాఠశాల సర్వదా సత్యానికి జ్ఞానానికి విశ్వాసానికి అనురాగములకు నిలయముగా అగునగా చెప్పు